As you can see today, I'm not using your average plane that I'm usually showing on my channel. That's uh, that is uh, because it's not German. This is the premium British Mustang Mark One A. Uh, so far, my reactions, my uh, my opinion of it is pretty mixed. Uh, as um, uh, like. Uh, its performance isn't exactly great, it doesn't, I it doesn't turn well, it tends to treat any damage as critical, and it, yeah, but the fun thing about it is its guns, and it really is pretty great. I mean, as you can see, I'm using air target burnt rounds, and there any traces, so my shooting isn't exactly great, but he is actually quite annoying now. Die. There we are. So my shooting is a bit hard, but I do have some light behind me and it's the next five soldiers to die. So yes. They have I think nerfed the XP fifty five, so it is uh, uh, slightly less uh, overpowered. Which is a good thing. Uh, but it's still going to probably kill me. Since I am not oh there we are. Because we are playing a game we are playing the British, so as you can see in the chat I was I had a salty moment because the interesting thing the thing I really like about this game is the response and this is the thing really that uh, brings like I this is why I love this game basically. I don't I mean I suppose that you know, like it. Oh, 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 bad, bad idea, bad idea. That was uh, an amazing, amazing idea. So, yeah, that's the last final kill. And this is a uh, pretty good. Uh, yeah, that's a match with three kills. So, well done to Hatch K and just all the kills. might have a sound issue here before so the thing is I played really well in this and I already recorded it so I can watch it again so yes we do have um, a nice amount of kills and RP etc I'm researching this firefly which is actually like the half decent firefly it's not bad it's not like the other firefly so yeah um, of course, I have to jump into another battle to fully showcase this plane. But what I do like, really like about this, like I said, is it's, it's its guns. There are two, however, however, there are two major problems with this gun, with these guns, which are for his and Mark twos. In case you didn't know, and that is uh, number one sparks. I mean, if you look at the chat, you would see I was being salty in the chat because I just I put hundred rounds into an A20 and it just absorbed them. That was my first kill by the way. Uh, was it my second? I don't know. But it absorbed all my 20, uh, hundreds rather, shells and that was annoying because I was right next to him and I could clearly see the sparks as they just did nothing. However, actually there was one other problem with it and that's one second. So yes, as I was saying, well, yeah. The another problem I find actually with this this isn't the second reason that is the uh, belts and as you can see I was actually using air target belts in the previous match and you might ask why is that for one simple simple I well, see I can't talk simple reason that's because they're really the only good belts there are of course self belts but uh, yeah air target belts are better. And the problem I have with those that don't have any traces, so as you can see, I was spraying a little bit over there back then. But yeah, three kills, that's good. And that is where we come to the... Actually, wait. We still have another downside to these guns, and that is... Uh, the low ammo count. As you can see, I have 500 for four cannons, which is 
125, that's the maths there, for each barrel. I don't know whether there's like more for each or like that, whatever. Uh, if you understand what I mean. So that is, you know, 125, that's good. But then you realise that actually they fire really quickly. So, yeah. But then we go to the plus side of it, this, and it is the fact that these are very, very destructive when they don't spark. As you saw there in the beginning of the video, I uh, took a speculative shot at a P51 who was going under me, and I uh, critted him, and then he turned on me, and then I just, well, he didn't actually, I, uh, oh, I'm better player than him. And I also have a cold, by the way. Uh, and... Then the P38, 38 rounds left, this is funny because it's a P38, 38 rounds, and uh, I killed him. That is the beauty about these, and that is actually why I love this plane now. Uh, I say love, it's more of like a, it's like a, it's, it's less really of a love, more of a, I'll stick with it for now. Until I research some British jets, then I'll use probably one of the Space Fires or the Tempest Mark II, or maybe the Sea Fury, or maybe even the Lancaster. <laughs> no. So, yeah, but now let's go to the downside of this. And as you can see, actually, my decals are putting put it on rather embarrassingly bad. That's just because these are the good decals, and I couldn't be bothered to put them on properly. Oh, yeah. XP55, I'm playing on the update where it's finally nerfed slightly, I believe. So, yeah, the bad things about this plane, it is American, so it never heats badly. Web is a no no for this plane. Like, no, no, no. And as you can see now, I've stopped climbing because the one other problem about this plane is that at low speeds it doesn't turn at all. High speed, it's fine. I mean, don't really shouldn't take it into a dogfight because it's more of a boom and zoom, and not an NG fight. So it does retain speed, and then you slow down, especially it's a, a Japanese student who you aren't really going to outturn anyway. And if you get any damage on your elevator, then uh, you are mincemeat, which is funny because the cans mincemeat as well. It's pretty powerful, and yeah. There's not really much more to it. I'm still. I'm not climbing. Actually, let's come to 10, 10 degree. Oh, ooh. J to M, that's higher. That's okay. Easy A6 and 2, A, A6 and 2. Uh, below us. Like A6, okay, right. That's, that's, that's our first port of call. Because, get it? Because a port. Haha. <laughs> Funny. Right. Uh, I've talked a bit about this plane now, so it's time to see some action again. Now, usually in this map, the Allies win because they have an air spawn, except the naval planes, which we have few of. So, ooh, 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 come, come, come. This, this is actually a pretty aggressive angle here, and blah, 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 blah. Ah, ah, ah. that's exactly what I mean about the sparking business. That was a, if I say so myself, a pretty good approach. Oh dear. Oop, 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 please not continue with that. And, and now this bit, that's pretty sour. Uh, the problem is we're playing in an allied team with lots of Americans, so they all die for the B7, oh, the, B782 and A6 M2. However, luckily I've actually spotted two oh yeah, two two targets up ahead, so I am going to kill them. Uh, hopefully. So as you can see, my engine is at 120 degrees Celsius to water, which is funny because there will be steam. It's already, it will overheat and go into orange, and that's, that's a warning basically. As you can see, with at 100% throttle, my engine is now overheating. Now, this comes from playing German planes like the TA152, which I basically go on wet for the whole match. That's how it is. Okay, he, he I don't know what he's doing, but. Oh, see, spark. Oh, 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 a spark, a spark, a spark. Oh, oh, no, <laughs> never mind. Uh, yeah. 
this is exactly what I mean by, by sparks being annoying. Sparks are very, very, very annoying. They make me want to clench my fists in sh anger and shame. Uh, but enough of that. We have another A6M2. Uh, like I said, we're not going to turn with it. That will be a very stupid, horrific, or horrible idea. And I think we have lag issues. No, no, no. We're, 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 we're happy that we have lag issues. 30 FPS. That's fine. Oh, look. Oh, a spark. But then that's dead. Second kill, and we have an assist as well. So that is that is good. But as you can see, we have Kai 43. So let's go ahead on with that. Um, yeah, let's hopefully we will die because it, it is hard to bang. Oh, oh, third, third kill, third kill. Oh, 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 a spark, a spark. Damn. That's annoying. That's annoying. It's very annoying, but that's oh, 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 oh. we just. We just turned with a zero. Look at that. We are s like the That is the moral of the game. Thank you for watching. Do not turn with zeros, especially if you're on a marathon plane. But yeah, thank you for watching, everyone. Goodbye. Goodbye.